What's good, Kit Bashing Gang? It's your boy Kels, aka the Kit Bashing Guy. Today is my first unboxing video. So, this is the one I was telling you guys about on my Instagram and then in my last video. And yes, you guys are seeing my face, and that's cool, right? Why is everyone freaking out so much? Are you kidding? Anyway, so today is my first unboxing video. All this stuff came from Bai. It came at a crazy cost. My wife wanted to kill me. Um, everything comes from Japan. Uh, that's where Bai is located and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, man. We'll just get started because I don't want to take too much of your time. And I know you guys want me to get to kit bashing. So, let's do it. All right. Hmm, let's see. The first one I'm going to open up is... Let's start with this little lunch looking bag here. Let's see what this is. I ordered so much of this stuff, I don't even know what I ordered. Alright? So let's see. And it is... It's a WCF. You know what that means, more heads. Not like that. Uh, it is Brooke. Brooke from One Piece, man. The ninth member of the Straw Hat Pirates. Well, let's go. So y'all know he's going to be coming up soon. All right, I'm going to just place that up there in the front. Make it look nice and pretty. All right. Let's see. Next, I'm going to open up this little envelope right here. Yeah, remember when you used to get your report cards in these? Let's see what we got her. All right. Oh, it's another WCF. Oh, wait, there's something else in here? No, there's not. All right. Another WCF. All right. So, let's see here. Okay. Ugh, too much plastic. Oh, okay. It is Porcus D Ace from One Piece. I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff is going to be One Piece related. So, you know, that's what Kit Bash and God does. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I could use this for, uh, for my uh, SH Figure Arts Ace. Um, you know, because he has the hat and everything like that. So, but this face looks way better. Remember my last video? And if you haven't seen my last video, go check it out. Uh, I just review, I just kind of do a quick review on all my stuff that I made or stuff that I kit bash, I should say. So, yeah, great. Another uh, WCF. Got it. This looks like a WCF, so you might as well keep it going, right? Let's see. Uh oh. Some of y'all gonna be excited about this one. Yes, it is a WCF, but but it's a rare one. And I know some of you guys are huge fans of this cat over here. It is Eno. Eno for One Piece, the Thunder Guy. Yeah, man, this is gonna be a fun kit bash. So that means that the other pieces of him will be here. So that's gonna be a sick little video. I'm excited about that one. Let's keep going with these. Uh, Envelopes. What is this? Right. You know what? Shout out to uh, to Bayi, man, for uh, you know wrapping this stuff up nicely. Man. I appreciate you guys. I don't appreciate y'all prices though. I'm gonna get into that story in a minute. Bayi still a dope site. Uh, it's still a dope site though. All right, cool. It's another WCF. It's a, uh, uh, what do they call it? Muscle Point Chopper. Muscle Point Chopper. That's going to be a fun kit ash too. Cool, cool, cool. I'm liking what I see, y'all. I'm liking what I see. All right, we'll go with this little envelope. Another report card envelope. I used to hate getting these in the mail. I used to race to the, uh, to the mailbox because my grades weren't all up to par sometimes. Get home before mom and pop, you know? All right. What do you guys think this is? A WCF. All right. Oh, snap. I think I might be happy, really happy about this one out of all of them. Damn, this thing is tough. Cool. Yes. All right. It is Sengoku. Sengoku from One Piece. Uh, but this is when he was younger. This is during when him and uh, Garp took on Shigi at Marineford. 
Man, I can't wait till they really show that battle. Ugh. Yes, guys, I ordered a lot of WCFs. Here's another little box. Yeah, this feels like a WCF, y'all. They're probably like, why is he ordering so many WCFs? Does he collect them? No, I don't collect them. I use them to kit bash. But some of them are rare. So what? I don't care. We make figures out here. All right. Oh, snap, I forgot I ordered him. All right, y'all. This one. This one. Kuwabara from Yu Yu Hakusho. So you guys saw it and check out this video. I made a um, I made a Yusuke Yurameshi uh, uh, kit bash. And uh, you know, I saw Kurama up there, so I was like, yo, man, you can't have like, it's, that's like having Goku without Vegeta. I mean, granted, even though Kuwabara is nowhere near as strong as Yusuke, but still, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta have them both. So yes, I right, bet. So, another lunchbox bag. I don't know what this one is. Yeah, it's another WCF. And I should just call this a WCF unboxing, right? Nah, but there's some figures in here, I promise you guys. Just bear with your boy. It is Nico Robin. So that means Nico Robin is coming up. So I'm gonna get to her as soon as possible. I know some of you guys are thirsty for her, all right? Nice. another envelope. Oh, okay. All right. It's Porcus DAs. Again, I know I had him. I had what happened was I forgot I ordered him and I ended up buying him off of Macari or whatever. So, yeah, like this. Whatever. Hey, look, man. Sometimes doubles can be treasures, you know? More parts, you know, more creativity, right? Move that. All right. Gonna use the dagger for this one, y'all. Shout out to Emmanuel. He bought me this. That's my boy. He bought me this uh, from uh, Aruba. And I hope I said that with a good accent. See, it's a wooden sword, too. I mean, dagger, too, but I should be able to cut through this. I think. Maybe not. No, I think I can just tear this open. Wait, wait a minute, nope. It's about to serve the purpose. Oh, y'all heard that. Because at this point, nothing's getting sent back. So I'm getting whatever I get, you know? Oh, okay. Our first figure, guys. No more WCFs. And this. Put this over here. This is. Okay, so, I don't know who this is, okay? This, all right, it says it's this dude named Straight Cougar. <laughs> Straight Cougar from S Creed. Now, S Creed, I know the anime, I never really watched it. So he's one of these characters from there. But, I mean, you guys will understand why I got him eventually when you see a Kit Bashing video with him, all right? So don't forget about Homeboy, all right? We're going right here. I know you guys are probably like, yo, why did he open up the big white one first? It's probably killing y'all. It's probably giving y'all anxiety. No way. This, what is this? Oh. Oh, snap. Okay. All right. Oh. Got hit in my face. You know, I need my knife or wooden knife. Uh, oh, perfect. All right. So, okay, so this is this is a a rare, rare figure from Japan. It is Usa. Okay, 
and uh, he's actually articulated. So I got him to put him in my One Piece collection because, I mean, finding some of the clothes for these, you know, some of these One Piece characters are pretty tough. So this is going to be my uh, pre-time skip Usopp in my collection. And I thought it was really cool. And I, and I like the height on him and everything. And it comes with a little chopper too. Smiling. So this, this is really cool. I'm really excited about this. Okay. All right. So next let's start with this one. Uh, I don't need this. Okay. It's a little crazy. I'm gonna just savage it, y'all. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is the SH Figure Arts Vicious from Cowboy Bebop. Now, I told y'all before in my last video, I believe, yeah, my last video, that I never watched Cowboy Bebop. But um, this is for a, uh, a kit bash, a one, beat kit, uh, one piece kit bash. So, you know, in the comments, who do y'all think will be made from him? What character? Let me know. All right, place that right there. Oh, real quick, let me get into that, uh, the body story. All right, so what happened? So all this stuff here, I'm gonna be transparent with y'all, cause y'all my, my kit bashing gang, my kit bashing band. I'm gonna be transparent with y'all, okay? So, all right, so everything I bought all together came up to 192, two yen. Uh, well, 192,000 yen, meaning $192, okay? <laughs> So what happened due to COVID and everything like that, um, Japan's ports, mail ports are closed and everything like that. So I had to do this through DHL. So bro, when I found out how much this, all this was gonna cost in shipping, I almost threw up. This stuff cost 265 extra dollars in shipping just so I can mail it out to you. Or I had the other option of, it would be like $102, but I wouldn't get it in three months. And I need this stuff, you know, to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had to eat that 260 bucks up. You kidding? You're trying to tell me? I mean, look, at the end of the day, you know, it's gonna help me and it's just pushing out content for you guys or whatever. Look, I recommend Bai, it's great. You know, it can be a little expensive sometimes, but you know, it goes by weight too. So that's why it was $265, but it was the, the international shipping and how much everything weighed together. So I'm, I learned that it's, it's good to just order like two or three or four items at a time, not 15 items. Okay, so that was the story. My wife wanted to kill me for, for that because basically all together this stuff costs 400 or something dollars for plastic. I mean, this is basically my Christmas present, so, you know, whatever, all right? Look, we make mistakes sometimes. All right, but let me get back to the unboxing, because I know y'all got stuff. We'll do this one right here. All right. It actually works pretty well. Shout out to E again, please. All right. All right. Oh snap, all right, it's another figure guys. I think we might be done with CW, uh, WCF. And this, all right. There's a lot of garbage I might have to take out later. I right, bet. So this is the SH Figure Arts Master Asia, Master Asia from Gundam Wing. 
Now, I got this figure. He, he's really cool, but it's gonna be for a kit bash. I know, I know. Some of y'all like, what is wrong with you? I know, but y'all, my goal is to make every One Piece character, man. So, in the comments, let me know who y'all think this is gonna be. All right, I'm gonna save the one in the middle for last, just for, you know, nostalgic purposes, because that's what usually people do, right? Like in Power Rangers, the person in the middle, the Red Ranger in the middle usually goes last, you know what I'm saying? So, that was in the middle, it's gonna go last. Well, this is technically in the middle, right? All right, whatever, whatever. Y'all know what I'm saying. All right, bet. So, oh, actually, I don't even need the knife though. Okay. All right. Oh, give me a little letter too. What is this? No, oh, just a shipping information. I ain't that special. All right. Let's see. Okay. No doubt. This is the Rebel Tech Amazing Yamaguchi. Ugh, I'm about to botch this name up. Chosoka by Motakukai. All right. So I just started watching this series. Um, it's called Sengoku Bazaar. And uh, I collect the figures, though. I was collecting the figures before I even started the, uh, the series. Like, I have... Like, you have to watch the series because no point in me even saying their names. I can barely say his anyway. But, yeah, so this won't be Kit Bash. Cool. All right. So, we're down to the last two. All right. Use the old trusty dagger. I'm going to just call this Ease Dagger. That's what I'm going to just call it Ease Dagger. All right. And I will be doing more unboxing videos in the future. Definitely not $260 right now that much no, I ain't rich not yet all right so this this is packaging stuff oh I know what this is okay okay all right cool I'm really excited about this one there so these are just all accessories okay oh wow he's really big shut your mouth all right so this wow so this i'll just give y'all a sneak peek there it is uh, okay i'm gonna just put this to the side over here I forgot this dude's name, all right? I ain't even gonna cap. But, um, oh yeah, I remember now. His name is Love Machine, okay? And he's from something called, some movie, animated movie, Summer, or something like that. Summer Love? Something like that, anyway. I haven't watched it or anything like that, but he's for a kit bash. But bro, just this figure is like worth, he's like a hundred and some odd, some odd bucks. I found him for, Oh, I think he was, he was only like 22 bucks, man. You see what I'm saying? This is why this site is so good. And who do y'all think he's going to be for? Actually, you know what? I can't, I can't help myself. I have to tell y'all. Anno, you feel me? You get the idea? No? All right. I guess you will when you see the, the, the bash. All right, y'all. I'm so excited, bro. He looks so good. He's, he's the tallest Figma I believe. No. I think there is some taller ones. But I think he's one of the top tallest. Dang, bro. Makes me not even want to kit bash him. But y'all know what I got to do. All right, y'all. And finally, the last box, y'all. The last box. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
right. Alrighty. So this is another Rebel Tech Yamaguchi uh, figure from uh, Sengoku Bazaara. This is, I am I'm gonna botch up his name, Morari Mara, Marari, Matono Nori. I know I messed that up. But the show is mad good, bro. Like, I wish they just had regular names like Steve or something. You know what I'm saying? But yes, so that is it. That is my first unboxing video from Bai. And I'm, yo, and no, I'm not getting paid by them either. This is, I'm giving them free advertisement or whatever. They should, though, after they see this, though. Because look at all this stuff and all that shipping I paid. They should hook your boy up. But anyway, yo, that's it, man. So, you know, I'm going to be having a lot of uh, videos coming you guys uh, coming you guys way. I'm going to try to do one one every week. Y'all know Kick Bash and take a while. So, but I'm going to try to hustle in and put them out. You know, so, yeah, bro. Thanks for watching. You know, I appreciate the support on my Instagram and on my uh, YouTube. So, yeah, man, just check me out. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and do all that annoying stuff. Hit that bell. And, yeah, man, just... Check me out, bro. All right, I'll holler at y'all later.